Basic Graphing using the TI-84+. Before we begin, you really need to know how to graph by hand. If you haven't tried this yet, please review a basic graphing by hand lesson before starting. So first, let's review a few calculator basics. So here's the TI-84 plus Silver Edition. You could have the TI-83 or just 84. They all look the same. The first thing we want to look at is the on and off switch. That guy is way down here on the bottom left. You see my cursor is blinking. That means it's on. To turn it off, you'll notice off is in blue. Yours could be in a different color, but what that means is you hit the second and then the off key. Mine's going to stay on because it's on the computer. Next is to graph, we need to use the y equals key. Remember, it must be in the form y equals mx plus b to put it into the calculator. After we put an equation into the calculator, all we have to do is go over here and hit graph. So let's do one together. Let's look at our first example. y equals 2x plus 1. Remember, the first thing we have to do is look to make sure that this guy, the equation, is in y equals mx plus b form. And it is y equals 2x plus 1. The first thing we do is go over here to y equals, and you click y equals, and now we're going to put the 2x plus 1 in. You're going to click your 2, and then right here, it's next to the alpha key. It's x, t, theta, n. That's our variable key. And when we click that, we get our, we get our x plus 1. Great. Now the next thing we're going to do is click graph. That's right over here on the right. And here's our graph of y equals 2x plus 1. You did it. Let's look at another one. Here's our second example. Now remember, it has to be in y equals mx plus b form for us to put it on the calculator. This one isn't in that form yet, so we need to do a little algebra to get it there. I always like to rewrite the equation first before I get started. You'll notice that y is by itself in the y equals mx plus b. So that's what I'm going to do. I want to leave this guy alone for now. So I'm going to take this guy out. So the opposite of a positive 2x is a negative 2x. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. That leaves me with 5y equals negative 2x plus 15. That's great. But now I need the y by itself. So I'm going to divide every part by 5 on both sides of the equation. So y equals negative 2 fifths x plus 3. And now it's ready to put into the calculator. So here's our calculator. Let's go back to y equals, and we're going to hit this button, the clear button. We're going to get rid of that last equation. I have y equals negative 2 fifths x plus 3. Anytime I have a fraction, I always put it in parentheses. So I'm going to do um, parentheses, negative 2 divided by 5, end parentheses, x. Now it's really important that the x is outside of the parentheses. And then finally we have plus 3. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to hit graph. And here it is. Here's the graph of the equation 2x plus 5y equals 15. Great! Now let's look at a couple extra calculator basics. We have the window and the table. Let's look at the last one we just graphed. If I click into my window, you'll notice something really interesting. My x minimums, that means the x values to the left of 0, my x maximums to the right of 0, 
The scaling is 1. That means every hash mark is worth 1. Y minimum negative 10. Y max 10. Once again, my scaling is 1. If I click graph, you're going to notice something interesting. If you start counting from the origin, or 0, 0, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You have 10 hash marks to the left. You can have it up, over, and down also, your axes. Let's say I want to focus in on this part right here, my y-intercept. I would go to the window. Now, I don't need much on, I'm going to go back here. I don't really need any of these negative x values, do I? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it, oh, negative 2. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, look at that. Now I only have two hash marks to the left. Well, I really don't need any of these x values either. So I'm going to go back to the window. And let's make this guy, I'm going to down arrow. I'm going to make this a 2. Let's see what it looks like again. Wow, look at that. Only two hash marks to the right. Let's clean up the negative y values. So we're going to go back into window. I'm going to down arrow. Then I'm going to make that negative 3. I'm just pulling it out of the air just to make it a little smaller. But you can do anything you'd like. Once again, you'll see here's my negative 3. Let's say I want to return to the original. You'll click this zoom key, and you'll go down here to Z standard. That puts it back into the 10, 10, 10, 10 graph. You need to down arrow or click 6 and enter. And here we are back at our original picture. The table is something really handy. And if you look above your graph key, you'll see where it says table. Since it's in blue, we need to hit second table. What's handy about this, if you look on the left side, these are all of your x values. Now yours might have started at a different number, but you just up or down arrow as you go. The right side is your y values. So if you're ever asked to graph this by hand or asked to put a couple um, ordered pairs down on a test, here they are. You could write negative 3, 4.2, 0, 3, and so on. That's kind of handy, too. Let's look at our final example. y equals 2 thirds x minus 2. And here's our calculator. It's still left to what we just did. So we're going to go into y equals, and we're going to clear that out because we're going to put this new equation in. Nicely, it's already in the y equals mx plus b form, so we don't have to do anything. I have a fraction here. So remember, we're going to put that in parentheses. So we're going to click parentheses, 2 divided by 3, end parentheses, and then our variable key, this guy right here, to get our x in. Then finally subtract 2. We're going to click the graph key. And here's the picture for y equals 2 thirds x minus 2. Let's say you need to graph this on the computer. Click second, table. And once again, look at this. Here are all of our ordered pairs. So you can graph negative 3, negative 4, 0, negative 2, 3, 0. These other numbers are fractions, and they're really hard to graph, so I wouldn't even try those. So let's go back into our graph. Thanks for viewing, and I hope this helps you graph using the calculator.